Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Nine Minus Up. I am a real-life Boeing 737 pilot, and in the last video uh, we did to here on the channel, uh, we've done the cold and dark setup, and we did the FMC setup. What we're going to do today is we're going to prepare the aircraft for the SID, so that we're actually fully ready for the briefing with our colleague, and then to push back and depart towards Bergamo. So jumping back into our seat here, what we know has been done is we did our cold and dark scans. We did our FMC setup. We've done our scan from top to bottom here. And the next thing that we want to do is to set up for the uh, SID. We want to do a light test and then we want to make sure that everything is in the correct place. So go to our chart here. We can see that we're going to fly the, AB, uh, correction, the ALS 6 Alpha departure. So the ALS-6 Alpha departure is a, a westbound departure, so we're going to be on a track of 264. Then it's the right turn for the noise abatement window, Bravo India 371. Then it's a, and it's an overfly point, mandatory overfly. Then it's a left turn, uh, 700 feet. Continue all the way down to ALS. Good. So the first thing I notice here is the initial climb clearance is going to be flight level 60. So let's go set that one up. 61 until we have the clearance. Then we can go have a look on our page here. Like to go into plan mode for this one. And you can see Lima Echo Lima 1 on track 264 until 700 feet. So we see it here 700 feet. You see it? 700 feet. So 264 until 700 feet. Then it's a right turn in Mount Bravo, India 371. Right turn in Mount Bravo, India 371. And then it's a left turn in Mount ALS. That's where we put 220 or below for track keeping. And now, as we have a stop altitude of flight level 60, we see it here initial climb clearance flight level 60. We do not want to bust this one. So as per company SOPs, we want to go flight level 60 or below. We do not want to go above this one. Altitude constraint. Oh, yeah, okay. There we go. So flight level 60 we can put in. And there we go. But it should be 220 or below or 60 or below. There you go. So now we have that correctly set up as well. And as soon as the FMC is going to calculate uh, the rest of it, we are going to be pretty golden. So, the reason why we put this in is, of course, we don't want to bust the altitude limits of the SIDs here. That would be a really, really bad start of the day. So, from Bravo India 371, it's a left turn to ALS, and ALS we see right here. So, climb on 264 to 700 feet, or not before 1 DME from Rio and Colima. Then there's a right turn, Bravo India 371, there's a left turn to ALS VOR. So, what we can do is... We can have the Lima Echo Lima 110.7 10, in the active, 110.7. And then we can switch over to the VOR, which was 1147. So now we actually have, uh, even though it's an RNF ID, we have conventional backup. To make sure we have this, I want to go 264 on the right track, 264. And the next one, we need to turn left inbound LCVOR. And from this one, I of course do not have a track, so we can use a little bit of a cheat code and see it's a 140. There we go, 140. Runway heading 264 as well on the MCP. Cross check that one with the aerodrome chart. You can see 264, so we are doing it correctly. We need the flight directors on. RTO, reset the fuel. And now we can do our light test. Want to make sure we have one panel at a time, all lit up, and that we do not have any blown bulbs. And if we do, take a note of it, change it in cruise, no biggie. Make sure our annunciators work. There we go. Terrain and airport. And we can uh, give the captain that one as well. This is the copy-paste function. So right now you can see the captain has nothing selected. 
uh, if we go to this one to the right you can see he now has all of mine and then back to normal so that he can do his own selections that is the way you can copy paste things from the right side to the left side on the EFIS control panel good so we now have everything set up here and we have taken a look at the SID plate we want to go back to the takeoff page here because that is the one we're going to be departing with on our side only thing missing now is to do the briefing and while the captain is doing his paperwork or whatever we can run the GPSW test here so that that is completed as well hope you enjoyed this video guys see you in the next one and if you have any questions suggestions or anything you want to see in the video or explained please let me know and then we'll walk through it have a nice one guys see you bye bye